So I know the family car of the year at the moment, as voted for by Car of the Year and various automotive magazines and so on and so on, is the Hyundai Tucson uh, 2023 Family Car of the Year. Well, it's a lovely car and it's got an awful lot of functions in it. It's safe, it's roomy, it's practical, it's got a hatchback and so on and so on and so on. Uh, you can have leather in it, it's got screens, it's got this, that and the other. The only problem being is, do you know how much it is? £44,000. If you go for the fully loaded one, which by the way you can't get because there aren't enough microprocessors being made in the world, uh, average 500 per car, by all accounts, 350 is what you're allowed. So there's an awful lot of functions you can't have even though you're paying £44,000. So, let's just think about that. £44,000 for a Hyundai which won't have everything on it that you want. Hmm. Well, we've got one better. Because there is a motor car you can buy, and it is a motor car, that is... All right, it's 20 years old, but it's bigger, better, safer, more luxurious, more powerful, and it has absolutely everything on it you could possibly want. It is swathed in cow. Even the headlining, look, everything is swathed in leather, everything. And what isn't leather is wood, not just any wood, Walnut. It's a beautiful place to be. Everything metal is metal. It's polished aluminium or it's anodized or whatever it is. Um, yeah. 44 grand for a brand new Hyundai or the market. Oh, let's take some statistics first of all. 550 brake horsepower. Check. 770 foot pounds of torque. I don't know if you know what a torque is, I certainly don't, but it's got all of those anyway, it's got a lot of them. Uh, and what else? Oh, that's right, a six and three quarter litre twin turbo V8. Ha ha ha! What a car! It's huge. It seats five quite comfortably. It's like driving... It's a cross between a safe and a bank vault. I mean, this doesn't... Obviously, it went through the whole Euro NCAP uh, crash safety test and everything, and all that happens is it broke the concrete barrier. It really is that solid. Uh, whatever you hit is going to come off second best, and you will simply walk away from it. It's a fact. So, it's five-star rated, on account of the fact that everything will be annihilated in its way. It's ludicrously quick. Um, whatever you're being challenged by, if you put your foot down into the Wilton, it will, whatever you're follow, uh, being challenged by, will simply just disappear behind you. It becomes a dot. But it becomes a dot so quickly, it's actually hilarious. I don't know, it's a bit like being, if you could imagine sitting in a stately home on top of an Apollo rocket from the 60s. That's what it's like. Highly improbable, but very funny. What I haven't spoken about yet is the price. <laughs> like I said, it's 20 years old, this car. So you can spend £44,000 on a Hyundai. Sorry, Hyundai. Um, which by this time tomorrow, if you uh, if you have bought one, will be worth about thirty eight thousand, and then the day after, and then ultimately a year from now, it's going to be worth about fifteen grand. This this twenty eight nine nine five under thirty thousand pounds for all that. What a lovely place to put your family. Safe, secure, comfortable, classy. What else do you want?
but of course it does have the Bentley badge which also helps because as we know Rolls-Royce is a tad vulgar Rolls-Royce is for people who've done well in the scrap industry or they've had a you know one good album that sort of thing everyone or they've had a series on TV that's gone reasonably well uh, it's it's that sort of thing whereas if you drive a Bentley you've proper made it it shows you made the right choice in the first place you know about stuff but you don't want to partake of it you want to do your own thing that's why you get a Bentley and not a modern one one of these you get one of these a proper old-school Bentley this was peak Bentley era turn of the millennium and after that unfortunately nothing against the Germans taking it over they probably saved the mark but uh, my god they've gone downhill this is a Bentley a modern day winged bee unfortunately shares an awful lot with Volkswagen so it's essentially a large golf as far as I'm concerned no 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 this is it anyway that's me rattled on long enough about a car I absolutely adore go away do not go round me on the roundabout Like I said, when you put your foot down, things happen. Very funny things.